organising your first sports day as a primary school teacher? Well, don't you worry, I've got your back. Here are some of my top tips to make sure that sports day runs as smoothly as possible. First of all, the date you've got in your diary for sports day isn't going to happen on that day because I guarantee on that day will be the heaviest amount of rainfall we've had all year. I know, in June, it's weird. Instead, accept that the reserve date you've got in the diary will likely be the day when it happens, which coincidentally will be the hottest day of the year so far. Despite the endless hours you've spent coordinating, organising each and every event with meticulous detail, please accept to everyone, staff, students and parents and attendants, it will look like a complete and utter free-for-all, the most disorganised thing known to man. It actually will make the Nativity play look like a Broadway musical. Remember, no matter how many times you've explained the race to the children, whether it's the obstacle race, relay race, sack race, you're going to have all sorts going on. Sacks over heads, you're going to have children running in the wrong direction, you're going to have batons being thrown at the parents in attendance. Remember, these are the same children who, despite you telling them every single day to underline their title since September, we're in May, still can't do it. So don't hold out too much hope about them remembering the rules of a race. Now I know that sports day is all about having fun and making it inclusive for all of our students but listen if you're going to give out first, second and third place stickers for certain races that's going to matter to some children and parents and for some of these kids this is their only day where they feel they get to shine and be top of the class so don't be putting Dopey Doris on the finish line who should have gone to spec savers expecting her to be as good as VAR well, to be fair, she might be better than VAR. You've got to get that eagle-eyed member of staff who literally has eyes in the back of their heads to make sure they don't miss anything and those stickers are given to the right people. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Making sure your children have water bottles, sun cream, lotion, standard, we know this. But having a medical box and possible defib, not for the students, but for the parents' race. There'll be bodies dropping all over the place. It'll look like a scene out of Platoon. There'll definitely be a dad who looks like he's been snipered from the crowd when his hamstring tears five metres into the race. There'll be broken bones, something that our extensive medical training as teachers means that a wet paper towel will not fix. And prepare yourself for the parent who decides to do the mum's race not wearing the right attire. There's a reason why in the Olympics athletes don't wear strapless summer dresses. Yes, and I guarantee that parent will go arse over tit, exposing her naked rear end to the whole school. But listen, if you can capture that on film, it will go viral. And so you might be able to use that and pay for your glue sticks next year. Thank you, Mrs Smith.